All right, several toppled trees and some storm debris creating trouble for Caltrain. Full service on the peninsula was restored a few hours ago. KTV's Brooke Chirose has more tonight on the effort that it took to get it up and running. I ride Caltrain every day. I buy a monthly pass. And, you know, this is an enormous inconvenience seeing that the, the train can't run. Saturated soil took a toll on this tree and ultimately Caltrain. Without warning, the 80 foot eucalyptus fell, pulling down power lines, smashing through a fence, and crashing across the tracks. I was planning to go to San Francisco on the train. I heard about the, the, uh, the tree falling. Irvin Dawid lives here in Burlingame and says he never thought the destruction would be this bad or the cleanup last this long. Because of the poles and the wires, it becomes one hell of a job. I mean, just look what they're doing right now. They're, they're, they're not working on, they, they haven't even started removing the tree. Step one, reduce tension in the unelectrified power lines intended for Caltrain's future fleet. Just look at these wires. I've watched these wires go up. It sort of breaks my heart seeing them in this terrible, terrible condition. But, you know, Mother Nature. All morning long Thursday, Caltrain was forced to stop service between Hillsdale and Millbrae. Workers dealing with damage and disruptions. Basically, it's all hands on deck until this storm is done. We're just going to make sure that things stay clear as possible and keep those trains running as best we can. Crews cutting, chopping, and chipping, knowing with more rain could come more work if other trees topple. Ultimately, there's a lot of trees along our corridor. It is a potential concern, so we're just putting eyes on the ground, making sure we can keep an eye on things and dealing with any problems that may arise. And by mid-afternoon, the problem was no more. Trains back on these tracks, back to business as usual. There is still a lot of repair and restoration work that has to happen to that overhead electrical system. No estimate on when that will be completed, but Caltrain says it is running on its normal schedule. In Burlingame, Brooks to Rose, KTVU Fox 2 News.